Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general energy reading for you. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. It is so good to see you, my Sagittarius. Yes. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We very well could be speaking to a cross watcher here. So if you are cross watching for a Sagittarian energy and yet this still resonates for you, just take it and place it in your life as it fits. Yes. Uh, we could be talking about the astrology of the month, even though this is a timeless reading. Um, it is being channeled during the month of September. So this doesn't have to resonate for you for the month of September, but keep in mind that it very well could. Um, and while we may, when we do, if I do mention the astrology here, I am always speaking of astrology from the true sidereal system, okay? But with that in mind, with that said, you don't have to be familiar with or resonate with uh, true sidereal astrology in order to resonate with this reading, okay? This is just a general reading channel for the energy of Sagittarius. And if you resonate with Sagittarius, then you very well may resonate with this reading. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already, as always. And if you're looking for a private reading with me or any type of private session with me, I am available for that. Check the info information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. Finally, as I'm sure you can hear, um, I do have my windows open so the roosters around can most likely be heard, well obviously can be heard. Um, take it as the synchronicity. That's Paul, by the way. <laughs> but, um, you know, it can be fairly synchronistic. If they do get crazy out of whack or out of alignment or like just crazy loud, I will try and, you know, fix that. Um, but there are, I threw an avocado back there that unfortunately went bad before I could eat it. So now they're like all in my backyard or in the backyard, so right behind me munching on that. And of course, as always, whenever I'm starting to do something, here comes Paul trying to compete with me but like whatever it doesn't matter okay anyway sag let's get into this what's going on for sagittarius okay emotional energy now i am seeing orange for you um which you know you're a fire sign so like red orange type hues resonate with you but i'm actually getting emotional i'm hearing emotional awareness and i'm picking up on energies within your sacral chakra now um, I've been channeling for the, for everybody for like four years now. And I, I can't believe I'm going back to this again, but there was a reading that I did back in August of 2019, I think it was. And that was a big focal point. That was a big connection point for you guys. Um, whether you are aware of that, whether you resonated with that, I still can't believe I'm still talking about that one reading, but it, it did make me cry. But um, emotional processing and emotional healing is what I'm picking up on for you here. And that's been a general theme for you, Sagittarius, for a long time. All right. First card out is let it go. Okay. So if you're still processing and or healing from something like that or from something that, you know, that resonated back on that in that reading August of 2019, um, you're really being encouraged at this point to let it go. Um, but also at this point, you may be finally ready to let it go. Or what I'm also hearing is realizing that you should, that you need to, or that you can let it go. Okay. And if you're, if you're new to my channel or at least new enough to where you don't know about that reading, um, check the Sagittarius playlist, or there may even be an August, 2019 playlist on the channel here and look for that reading. It's literally titled, damn it, Sag, you made me cry. Um, but it's time to let this go. Whatever it is you're healing from, this part of the process or this time for you, Sagittarius, it's all about letting go. And what I'm just, what I'm feeling for you here is what I just heard is finally able to release it or finally ready to release it. Okay. All right, here we go. Whole stack of cards. Well-being, connection, breakthrough, and breathe. Okay. You have well-being. This is all in service of your well-being, okay? Um, but what may be influencing you or feeling like or helping you to feel like you can let something go or can let this specific situation go, it's because of a sense of well-being that either you've been able to achieve at this point 
or that you're desiring, fully desiring to move into. I'm really getting a feeling, Sagittarius, that at this point, your sense of well-being is so important to you or is so so desired within you that you're willing to do just about anything to let it, let this situation go. But when I say that energy of willing to do just about anything, I do mean that from a healthy place. You're ready to go through the process. You're ready to face what it is you're feeling. You're ready to face whatever it is you need to face. Face it head on too, in order to let this go or let it go. Also, next what you have is connection. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Something, something was thrown or something fell. I don't know. Whatever. We're going we're gonna to continue. You have connection here. And either this is your connection with spirit, either and, and your connection has become strong enough or you've become aware of your connection enough to spirit to allow you to focus on your well-being. For some of you, I'm feeling like you feel solid enough in that connection. I'm literally seeing some of you being able to rest on that or lean on your connection to God, source creator, your higher self, the angels, your spirit guides, certain deities also that I'm picking up on. Lakshmi. Lakshmi is a big one. You may really resonate with or pray to Lakshmi. Um, also, maybe even Kalima. Kalima would really be helpful for you in breaking through those barriers, okay? Specific deities are coming up for some of you. You might want to do some research in terms of that, but you either have a really strong connection to spirit that you can really rely on in terms of cultivating this sense of well-being, or for some of you, you actually have a connection with another human being. I am kind of feeling like this is a romantic connection, but for others of you, this could just be a... Um, a platonic relationship, friends that you really can't feel like or know that you can lean on in order to help yourself with this well-being or this cultivating this sense of well-being in terms of letting something go. Next, you have breakthrough. This connection that you have to spirit or this connection that you have with another person is helping to facilitate this breakthrough for you. Okay. And then finally, you have breathe. <clears throat> you are you are allowing yourself to breathe you finally feel like you can breathe or in terms of working through or processing this breakthrough you are being encouraged to just <sighs> breathe okay beautiful energy Sagittarius I'm really loving this for you really really loving this for you at the bottom of the deck you do have discover there's something new that you can discover. You're ready to discover. You're ready to break this ground. You're ready to have this breakthrough. Okay. That was the last one. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into some tarot here for you. What's going on for Sagittarius at this time? Okay, you do have the five of wands. This does kind of feel like Sagittarian energy. Some, the sometimes chaotic energy of Sagittarius, the excitement of Sagittarius, but... The five of wands here also does kind of feel like it represents the chaotic, the, 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 the chaotic, the chaotic, the chaotic process of dealing with this, of handling this energy. It may feel very chaotic for you. That would also be why you're being encouraged to focus on your breath, to breathe through this. That's going to help you alleviate some of the so, uh, alleviate some of this energy that's going to help you work through this energy. What is the, what is the phrase that, that, that I always use with this card? Uh, chaos, the, the chaos of creativity. That's not specifically the, the, the word, that, the, the phrase that I use, but that's basically the feel here. I'm hearing the chaotic process of channeling these energies, of handling this situation. Okay, what's going on for Sagittarius, please? All right, look at this, Sag. First card you have is death, then the page of pentacles, and then the chariot. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I'm going to leave it there. Overall energy, beautiful, is you. Okay, the page of wands. I do see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs, the mutable energies. Within the fire signs, that would be you, Sagittarius. But also this is you, Sagittarius, because this is representative of that breakthrough. 
You see how the this individual on this card is kind of like sizing up this wand, sizing up his energy. What I'm getting with this for you, Sagittarius, is finding something new or figuring something new out or having that breakthrough, discovering something new about yourself or being able to face whatever this burden has been for you. Because really in the tarot here, when you reach the 10 of wands, you have your, this person is carrying all these wands that looks like it could be overburdening them. You're focusing what on you're focusing on what has been burdening you or at least at this time in your life at this time in your process you are able to focus on either the specific thing or the multiple things that have created this situation that you're working on letting go of okay you have death here death and transformation rebirth the rebirthing process you have the page of pentacles which is representing this new start that you are working on developing or working on having, okay? You have two pages here. That is representative of a fresh new beginning. And then finally, you have the chariot, okay? Ca uh, uh, Scorpio energy with, the, with death and Cancerian, Cancerian energy with the chariot. You may, ha you may have a Scorpio placement. Um, for those of you that are uh, fairly new to, tr to true sidereal astrology or when you were working with tropical astrology you may have been a sagittarian can uh, sagittarian or sagittarius scorpio cusper but actually in terms if that's the case then you actually might be an ophiuchus as well in true sidereal astrology who is also still kind of resonant with sagittarius energy which is why you would potentially be watching this reading. Um, okay, but then you also have Cancerian energy. You might have a Cancerian placement. It might be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or maybe a Virgo with the mutable energy of the earth sign that you have this new connection with that is allowing you to, to that you can lean on, whether it's romantic or a friendship, maybe a family member. Um, but what I'm getting with this Scorpio and Cancerian energy also specifically is the water element processing your emotions going through facing your emotions but also with the chariot here outside of those of those associations the chariot would represent you balancing balancing the polarities for yourself the positive and the negative okay which would then also be working with your water element or your emotions right the positive the white sphinx and the negative the black sphinx balancing those polarities to get you into greater alignment with the truth of yourself the truth of who you are that's putting you in greater alignment that's allowing you to move forward from the here from here from this space that you may have been stuck and or stagnant in beautiful sagittarius let's move forward let's clarify death clarify death for sagittarius please Boop. you're showing up again but officially now temperance so this death and rebirth process is you is you handling the shit, <laughs> okay? Is you alchemizing that energy, all right? Balancing the positives and the negatives. And also with the alchemy that is represented here with, 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 um, with temperance, this also could be representative of Ophiuchan energy, which you may still be resonant with. I do know that a lot of, or at least a few of the Sagittarians that resonate here on this channel are Sagittarius Ophiuchus cuspers. And Ophiuchus is that alchemist, is that healing sign, is that healing en energy. Ophiuchus is um, the snake charmer or the snake bearer, or in some, in some cases is a, is representative or resonates with or resembles the snake bearer or the snake charmer. Ophiuchus is that energy that is able to take poison and or venom and transmute it into the antidote. Okay, so this death and transformational process is being confirmed by temperance, working it out, balancing out. Okay, clarify death, please, for Sagittarius. All right, Ace of Cups and the yes and the six of swords overall energy is the knight of cups so what i'm feeling with the knight of cups here is you being able to love again or you being able to open your heart again this whatever this is for you whatever this death and transformational process is for you whatever it is you are healing alchemizing okay is literally opening your heart allowing you to move forward ace of cups is unconditional love refreshment and healing six of swords is moving forward 
moving from the rough waters to the calmer waters. Now, if you're not necessarily in this place right now, Sagittarius, um, I feel like for some of you here, you're not necessarily doing this yet, but that's because of a sense of fear and or apprehension. Please know, please understand that you are really encouraged to allow yourself to go through this process because it is going to heal you. It is going to allow you to move forward, but you're going to have to face something. It's part of the process. You can't handle it or you can't deal with it by just pushing it away or acting like it doesn't exist. Exist. You have to face it. So if you're struggling with this energy, this is encouragement to allow yourself to go through this process. It is time to let this go for your own sake of well-being, for your own sense of well-being, right? Okay, let's look at the Page of Pentacles now for you. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please. <laughs> the Fool. Look, this is your encouragement. Even, okay, so the Page of Pentacles here is definitely an energy of starting over or starting a new process. And this is also an energy, I like to say, of having to put your training wheels back on. For some of you, you're saying to yourself, well, I'm too old to start over. That's a bunch of bullshit. Okay. And we don't have it on the bottom of the deck anymore, but that page of wands energy is in this deck, which is the, um, this specifically is the golden universal tarot, but it is part of the universal tarot series. Okay. It's the same as this type of deck here. Uh, oop, look at that. The 10 of swords is at the bottom of the deck, but all of the depictions in the golden universal tarot are same, are the same as like this, the universal tarot here. This is another version of that deck, but in this case it's golden. But in this deck, that page of wands looks like a grown ass man, right? So that says to you or to anyone that the discovery process, learning about yourself, learning new things about yourself, rediscovering your sense of self, rediscovering your power is available to you at any time in your life. And some of you are saying, nah, and some, some of the resistance surrounding this energy, first of all, some of this has to do with you being able to love again, you finding love again. But you're gonna need to go through this healing process first. And some of you are apprehensive because you're like, no, I'm too old to start over. I'm too old to love again. I'm 60, 70, 80 years old. There's no way I can find new love again. That is a bunch of bullshit. I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna mince words with you. It's bullshit. And while yes, you may have to put your training wheels back on, the fact of the matter is this is providing you with a new start. You letting whatever this shit is, letting it go, is providing you with the opportunity to start again, to start anew, to, to, to take a whole brand new leap of faith, to start a brand new cycle in your life. And as long as you are physically alive, you are capable of and worthy of starting a new cycle. It, I mean, it, 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 it's all about your, it's all about your well-being, your sense of well-being, okay? Clarify the page of pentacles, please. Oh, okay, judgment in reverse. But see, there's the resistance towards um, resurrecting yourself. There it is right there. Also, what I'm hearing is this is you facing those challenges head on. So, the de so, so, so judgment in reverse doesn't necessarily have to mean resistance doesn't necessarily have to mean rejecting the opportunity to start over or rejecting this call to resurrecting yourself. This could also, being in reverse, represent you going through that process of resurrecting yourself, which does include, or does in fact um, include, uh, facing this, facing whatever it is you need to face in order to let it go. So, so you are in the process, or at least you could be in the process of resurrecting yourself. All right. And then next you have the seven of wands. So in order for you to really be able to start this new process, to take this new step forward with the page of pentacles energy, to take this leap of faith with the fool, you're going to have to put some greater boundaries up. And what I'm feeling specifically is part of letting this situation go or part of cultivating this sense of well-being or part of working through this breakthrough is putting greater boundaries up for yourself, standing up for yourself. But also understand that standing up for yourself does represent taking accountability. 
okay? Because you're going to have to be honest with yourself about how you haven't had efficient or sufficient boundaries, okay? Overall energy is the four of cups. Yeah, there's that reluctance right there. And you see on that four of cups, you have this person who is so focused on the, that three of cup energy, which is at their feet and completely missing the opportunity to, to grab the ace of cups energy that is being handed to you by the universe. All right. It's time to let this go, Sagittarius. And that's really for the individuals that are in this reluctant energy. And for those of you that are not reluctant to do this, or maybe you've been in this state before, this is confirmation for you. Now's the time. You are ready. Go ahead and grab that cup. Allow yourself to grab that cup of love. Because what you're focused on down here is the past, is what I'm hearing, and it's really ain't shit. It is nothing compared to what is trying to be offered to you here by the universe, by God's source creator. Maybe even this person who loves you. Ooh. Okay. And maybe it is that connection that you have with someone that is helping you come out of this reluctant energy. It could very well be, the re for some of you, the reason why you are even willing to stop rejecting this offer to heal and let go of something from the past. It may very well be because you want to be available to reciprocate this love of someone that is trying that is coming forward towards you or that is already there for others of you it's because you want to be able to receive a level a, 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 an offer a love of cup of love from somebody so you know well if i want to be loved if i want to have a relationship if i want to find my man my 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 woman my partner my divine partner even i'm gonna have to step out of this reluctant energy and finally let this go Finally, what letting go, let finally let go of whatever has been blocking me, holding me back from this, keeping me in a reluctant state. Okay. Let's clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarian. Some of somebody here could have a Sagittarian, not a Sagittarian, I'm sorry, a Cancerian. Uh, somebody has a Cancerian that is um, a divine partner that is wanting to love them. Also, you could be a Cancerian that is watching for a Sagittarian. And in that case, this situation, the roles could completely be reversed, Cancer. Ooh, honey. Mm, talk about needing to let go. Don't, ooh, Cancer. We could talk to you about needing to let go of some things. And it could be that Sagittarian that's coming forward towards you, enthusiastic as hell, wanting to love you up, down, left, right, and center. And now you're starting to see, well, in order for me to accept the love of the Sagittarian that's coming forward towards me, I'm going to have to let some shit go. Ooh. Yes, yes. Okay, clarify the chariot, please, for Sagittarius. Victory. The Six of Wands. Now, going back to what, this, what um, the, uh, the chariot represented at first, this was you being able or getting back into that greater alignment, balancing the polarities between positive and negative of your emotional reality. And remember, your emotions are your compass here, right? It's this, the, the white and the black thinks, the positive and negative emotions that help direct us in life. Knowing what it is we don't want so that we can move forward towards what it is we do want or so that we can have a greater understanding of what we do or what we may want. That helps to drive us forward, right? There is victory here in you clearing up what has been stopping you from moving forward in your life on a soul level. Victory, victorious. Challenge accepted, I heard challenge completed. But a challenge can't be completed until it's accepted. Bam! Mm -hmm. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Okay, there you go. The eight of pentacles. Yes, it's gonna take hard and consistent work, but and even if you are just now starting this, Sag I, was, I just wanted to say cancer again, but even if you're just now starting this here, okay, or maybe if you haven't even started this yet, this is confirmation for you that if you put in the, the consistent work, I don't wanna call it hard work, I wanna call it consistent work. Day by day, step by step process, if you put this work in, you will be victorious. You will be victorious, Sag, okay? You hear them? You hear, that, you hear how they're going off like that? Take that as a message. Encouragement, it's time. Wake up, 
wake up, get off your ass, let's do this, Sag, right? Okay. Chariot. The King of Wands. Anything that you put your mind to, Sagittarius, you will be able to accomplish. This King of Wands here feels like uh, encouragement. Believe in yourself. If you can dream it, if you can think it, if you can see it in your mind's eye, then you can see it in the world. You can create it in the world. You need to have the confidence in yourself. Some of you already do. Already do. And this again is greater confirmation that you're on the right path, that you're doing the right thing, that you're going to be successful, that you are getting yourself into a greater alignment that's really going to help you move forward in your life, especially if you've been feeling crazy stuck and stagnant, okay? Overall energy here, clarifying the chariot, we have <laughs> the six of pentacles. Balance and reciprocity. Um, what I'm picking up on for the Six of Pentacles, Sagittarius, is that this does actually have to do with people in your life. About you needing to work on adjusting certain associations that you have with people that are not balanced, that are overly depleting you. But this Six of Pentacles also represents developing a level of reciprocity for yourself. Okay? Balancing the give and take for you. I just heard focus very clearly or very keenly on where it is you are overextending your energy. And also a question for some of you here is how can I balance what I receive in life? But, some, but, but it is having to let go of something in order for you to be able to have that greater sense of balance. Because whatever it is you've been holding on to, Sagittarius, has been keeping you from receiving, from receiving a greater level of reciprocity in your life. Okay? Okay. I want to get closing messages for you from the Lover's Oracle. I'm sorry, guys. But homeboy over there is having, is having an emotional meltdown. And actually, you know what? That feels like sounding the alarm to me. There could be someone in your life that could be freaking out because you are about to let your association with them go for a sense of greater reciprocity for yourself because they've been depleting you. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Freaking out. Danger. 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 Yeah. Well, it's dangerous for them because you won't be enabling them anymore or you won't be around for them to, to drain off of energetic vampires. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's get this closing message for you, Sag. Okay. One more spirit says. One more. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, okay, two more. All right, here we go. You've got three cards here, Saji. Ooh! Twin flames. Your passion ignites. Now, this makes sense. This absolutely makes sense, especially for those of you that have a connection with someone that is influencing uh, this, this healing for you, okay? Um... Now, it could very well be that you are wanting, you are being influenced to go through this time of healing so that you can be with that partner. But also, twin flame situations are more so about the healing that they trigger for us, more so than they are about actually being with that person. It's really all about the healing that is triggered here. So there could, so yeah, you could be triggered on a twin flame journey right now. You could be resonating with the twin flame journey right now, walking down that path. And if that's the case, it's all about the healing. Now, uh, for others of you, that alarm that could be sounding right now is you freaking out or maybe this person freaking out because, oh, twin flame, you're my twin flame, blah, 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 blah. But if you do this healing, then you are going to be most likely be removed from this person or this person's going to be removed from your life. Why? Because you won't have that trauma bond anymore. You see how I said that? And now that, that homeboy has stopped. They don't want you to know that. Why? 
because your healing process takes you to a higher vibration. And if they can't ultimately match you on that vibe, oh, see, here he goes again. But if they can't match you on that vibration, Sagittarius, then your relationship is null and void. Mm -hmm. Next, you have, the, you have here. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. I'm so sorry, you guys. Even if I close my window, you're still going to be able to hear that. So we're just going to press through. Finally, you have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. All right, Saggy, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the email, my email and the readings and sessions that I offer. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And as always, wait, I said that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for your next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>